Most musicians spend years and years training their fingers to do more and more intricate tasks. The next guest spent years and years sitting in his bedroom with a microphone, figuring out how to make stupid noises, which when put together would make the rest of us look pretty boring. He is an oral wizard, a labial legend, a, a lingual freak. Please put your hands together for my friend, the not very bearded, beardy man. Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> you're too kind, you're too kind, you're too kind. Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> there is a, an issue which I wish to address with you all today. It concerns the canon. By the canon, of course, I don't mean... <laughs> Although that wouldn't be out of place with the problems. But, of course... The canon I'm referring to is the musical canon, that of the entire body of music which we take to be the hereditary of our nation. So, with your permission, ladies and gentlemen, I shall now do a certain thing which I've, I've wrote, and it goes a little something like this. Check my lyrics. <clears throat> you see, ladies and gentlemen, all the rock and classical and even the romantic composers oft were prone to dip their quill and then to frantically scribble every detail of their musical ideas on the manuscript before them, spurred in part by fears of being executed by their patron, usually a person with an empire and an army and some horrible perversion, needing music solely for their party or their sermon. Thus, composers rarely chose to make experimental versions, which is shocking, really. 
But you know, it all really comes down to the simple fact that their benefactor always backed the dictum of the church, which said that certain chords were evil and all tunes should be inert, and pomp and ceremony went with any brief they were proffered, and many pen peons to piety and odes to the absurd. But as you see, advances in technology have made it so that any sound conceivable may be facilitated almost instantly, where in the past composers would have waited just for a lifetime to see a new instrument created. Yes, but you see, my lords and ladies and those from the wider gene pool, I must stop this wretched song as it is whack and that means feeble in a language you will never speak because you're all posh people. And if you ask me, I'll tell you that Pachelbel is evil because this song is so monotonous and boring and urbane and it goes on and on and round and round and round and round again. So maddeningly cyclical and sickeningly plain, spiraling into infinity, a black hole in my brain. <laughs> I do apologise if uh, you were actually enjoying that, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> but I wasn't. He was doing my nut. All right, I'll tell you what, here's, here's, here's a little something for you. How about a little bit of this, all right? Bombs? No. Cool. Saints preservers. Grill me cockles or whatever it is. I don't know. Right, right. Here we go. Here we go. I think this will be a bit more appropriate for the environment. Here it goes. Oh, uh, can you, uh, somebody give me a concert A, please. La. <laughs>
about the little thing I wrote And you know that I wrote it in the future, yes I know that you'll be impressed if you can hear the words that I want to get off my chest It's really true Can you hear what I'm saying to you? It's like all I want to do right now Is tell you all that I don't know how Oh, I'm doing this in my mind Yes, if you look closer, you will find I didn't write any of this It's coming off the top of my head This and that's why the next line won't rhyme at all Cause... <laughs> oh, one, two, three, four! Hey, yeah! I'm gonna tell you that it's been nice playing for you Oh, I, I gotta go and I adore you And now it's time for me to say goodbye And it's the stop, 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 stop In a one, in a two, in a three, in a four Ba-da-ba-ba-ba-ba